It is exactly 6.20 in the afternoon. Let's do some science. What I have here is my 2000 Honda Insight, hybrid, good fuel economy. Everyone knows about the good fuel economy, but what about the bad fuel economy? How bad can this car do under reasonable driving situations? Well, not reasonable. Sort of like the sort of driving situation if you were to give it to a coked out teenager or something. So we're going to drive it hard. I just filled up. Uh, I got 45 miles per gallon calculated, which is real interesting because it says 54 on the dash. Uh, let's see, 6.7 gallons, which cost me $9.41. Gas is super cheap right now, so it's a perfect time for this, this experiment. All right, let's just switch over to our, oh, sorry, the trip, <laughs> 50.7 miles a gallon, and I actually got 45, so it's off by five miles a gallon optimistic. Let's go ahead and give all that a nice reset there, zero miles on the trip. So for the next 60 minutes, I'm going to drive around Wichita as hard as I can in this car, just beating on it. So basically, dri driving like everyone else in traffic because this car is pretty slow and I'm sure it, uh, I'm, I'm still probably gonna be getting drugged by Camrys. I'm gonna be getting the gap from that Ram 1500 over there. So, let's just get out of this quick trip parking lot. Get out on the road. Okay. First pull onto a 35 mile an hour road. I'm not going to be doing. I'm going to leave auto start stop on because that's just, it's, it's, a, it's a feature this car has. Most people are going to have it on anyway. I don't feel the need to like sandbag this much. Uh, I'll probably do what I can to keep the electric assist charged uh, just because the motors don't really like to be, or the battery doesn't really like to be depleted a whole lot. It's not super good for them. Oh, I just tried to go in a lean burn there. Can't have that. Essentially, I'm just not going to hypermile. This car is incredibly good at getting you to hypermile. It keeps you honest. The two biggest numbers on this dash are the speedometer, and then right beneath it is your fuel economy with a little animating bar that shows, you know, what sort of your instant economy. And it, it's an amazing thing. It, it's just the right amount of psychological warfare to just keep you from driving like I am now. I mean, I never I never would go that fast on this road. I mean, this is a car that as soon as you get in it, you drive five under everywhere. No matter who you are, no matter how you drive other cars, this makes you drive like a jerk. You will hold up traffic, you will be a nuisance. And it's, uh, Great fun, honestly. But let's see. Honestly, uh, <laughs> the I've never really gotten to experience acceleration on this because the car keeps me in more of an eco-friendly mindset. But really, that's 40. That's not bad. In the context of today, when you can go and just buy cars that rip out 11 second quarter miles, this is the absolute slowest thing that ever existed, but compare this to like a, a, a Chevy S10 from this era. That would get to 60 in like 15 seconds with the four cylinder, maybe 11 with the six if you're lucky. This does 10 seconds or to 60. That ain't terrible, honestly. It's what, 70 horsepower combined? Nailing the double clutch downshift. Screaming through 5,000 RPM, 6,000 RPM. We're doing the speed limit already. Merging perfectly with traffic, like I'm not driving something with less horsepower than most people's HVAC motors. This is a lot of fun to drive like this. This says I'm getting 40 miles a gallon. <laughs> and I'm not even trying.
And the great fun here is absolutely nobody can tell that I'm doing this. From the outside, I'm just a normal car in traffic, but in here, I'm pedaling as hard as I can to get out of my own way. And it's great. It is, it is a lot of fun. This is slow car, uh, well, slow, really. in this little car. It's trying its hardest. And it's giving you everything it's got all the time. And it's just so honest. It's not trying to be anything. This is all about economy and nothing else. Oh. This car is only, what, 1,850, 1,870 pounds? Probably 2,000 with me in it. That's nothing. That makes a first-gen Miata look like an absolute porker. So let's see what we what happens when we chuck it into a corner here with, uh, what is there, 50 PSI in the tires, I think? I finally did the uh, hyper miler thing and overfilled the absolute crud out of these tires. What's this guy gonna do? Okay. Uh, and the ride is abysmal, but... A little bit of break. <laughs> yeah, that was some understeer. <laughs> trying to hypermile this because I don't I don't appear to be doing anything effective. <laughs> I'm getting the same numbers. <laughs> and I'm having a lot more fun. I mean, hypermiling is its own kind of fun, but sometimes you just want to go places. You don't want to think about it so hard. And this car is such a joy to drive under normal conditions. It's just, you know, my financial sensibilities. Come on now. I will say this is not the best Honda shifter that I've ever felt. This isn't a 90 Civic, it's not linkage based, it's still uh, cables, but they're decent cables. exercise and we've, we've only done 13 miles so I'm gonna hop on a 65 mile an hour highway and my goal is to stay above 60 no matter what the terrain is in this case it's mostly flat because Kansas but the roads also fast enough that the aerodynamics drag won't be completely insignificant 
and it does tend to take a pretty heavy pedal in this car to maintain highway speed, so this ought to be a pretty good test here. Usually I'll just let the speed do what it wants. I'll stay at a reasonably light throttle position, and hey, if the car wants to go slower, go slower, but uh, I'm not gonna be that nice now, because this is about abusing it and trying to get the worst fuel economy I can. It says 46.5, it's getting better. <laughs> oh no, I wonder if that's still five, if that's still five mile an hour, or five miles a gallon optimistic, we're still getting 41 miles a gallon driving like a hooligan. Oh, 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 Dodge Journey's losing me. Oh, they're going for it. Okay. Don't slow down through the corner. Yeah, I might catch him. Oh, yep, got him. But how am I gonna do merging with traffic here? <laughs> All right, we are on the highway. That journey is really gone. quick trip and here's what the dash is saying 48.6 miles per gallon over 39.6 miles we've been gone for an hour and two minutes i fully expect to put roughly one gallon of fuel into this car but let's find out Dash says 48.6. We filled it up with 2.48 gallons. And by my calculations, that is 14 miles a gallon. That That is quite the result. I did not expect it to be anywhere near what the dashboard said, but I certainly did not expect it to be that low. Might mean that I've got a little bit more work to do on this car. That might just be how it is, but... Uh, there you go, if you beat on it, <laughs> less than 15 miles a gallon in a Honda Insight. That's amazing. It was a real good time, though. Speaking of time, I'll see you all next time when I try to hypermile a 1970s truck. Thanks for watching.